up everyone this is my attempt at doing a vlog a video log seeing if i've got anything interesting to say i'm getting my shoes up when i talk to you interesting to say sort of with my life and what's happening i've always wanted to do something like this i suppose i'll probably fail to do it as well i've always sort of i like the idea of sort of blogging and vlogging and stuff like that when i get into updating it i actually think i write quite well at the moment there's a few things going off in my life like i'm going to the dentist for the first time in 20 years and that's that's scary scary shit i've got a phobia against dentists um which i think the last time i went when i was 16 or 17 and this time when i went um the first thing they did is, is have half an hour chat with me about where i think my fears come from and things like that and and it comes from the fact that the, the dentist i went to when i was 16 17 was a wanker was i can remember just hating him i can remember being in fear of him i can remember him seemingly getting pleasure from the pain he was causing me um he knew i had a fear and he decided the best plan of action was to give me six fillings in one go and what and i hated it hated it all and i went back a week later or something and he gave me a checkup and he told me i was fine he said you know you don't have to come back for well, six months or a year or whatever I don't, I don't even know what the appropriate time span is he told me that that i was fine and i cried my ass out for about a week hated it so i haven't been for about 20 years and equally i i haven't even maintained my teeth so i'm, I'm my own worst enemy and the horse has definitely bolted it's 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 way past sort of realising that maybe I need to be doing something about it. And it's been something, it, it, going to the dentist has been on the horizon for a long, long time. And the only reason I'm doing it is because my teeth have started becoming unbearable in the amount of pain I've, I'm having. For a long time, it's been bearable. I mean, if you look at this, I broke that on um, open, opening up a Kinder Egg and not the chocolate, the plastic bit inside. Um, two years ago and it's been rotting and decaying from underneath and I just haven't done anything about it just then just don't want to too scared so I know it's been on the horizon and this side I haven't been able to chew on for years I um, in fact I've got a clicky jaw now because I only chew on this side therefore you know when you chew you sometimes chew on this side and you sometimes chew on this side but by the very fact I only chew on this side it's sort of it's it's made me draw a little little bit funny I and mean, i do get pain from my teeth but i just i've learned to cope with it it's it's incredibly tolerable pain when you think of sort of going to the dentist so i went to the dentist on monday first time in 20 years um and i'm going to be sedated i'm going to have iv sedation because there's there's no way i could go to the dentist otherwise um there's a long story behind that but it's it's by the fact we're selling a house and we've got some free money it's just something that, that sensibly, we, we, as a family, sort of my wife and I know that, that we've needed to do it in a long time. And, and now's the time. And I wasn't even looking at the cost. I was looking at whether it can all be done in as, as short a time as possible. And it can all be done under sedation, IV, um, yeah, IV sedation, where I won't remember any of it. Otherwise, there's no chance you're going to get me in that chair. And there's no chance I'm going to have any work done. So it's coming to 1,900. That's two sessions and 150 pounds just for the sedation for each session and you know what i'm just thinking fuck it i'll pay it fuck it i'll do it and i'll just pay it and i'll get it over and done with and people at work have sort of said to me well why don't you shop around why i can't because then you have to you have to dedicate thought to it you have to look at different dentists and you have to look at the prices and you have to phone up and ask <coughs> see it makes me wretch just thinking about the dentist i need iv sedation and I need to, it's like going into a shop and buying something, I need to go, I want that done, thank you. And the dentist was, was wonderful, was a lovely lady, and she said, we need to work with you on getting you past your phobia, because if you've got two hours of your life, three hours of, well, it actually works out, the first session is three hours long, and I think the second session is going to be about two and a half hours long. And she said, if you have those blacked out of your life, if you don't remember those, then you're not going to get past your phobia. We'll, we'll have to see how that goes. And the second thing um, is I'm selling my house. I'm making, I'm moving out of Mansfield where I've lived all my life and, you know, potentially I could have lived the rest of my life. But my wife wanted to move and there's no reason why we shouldn't. We're going from a, a mortgage, which I know some people see as an investment, to just renting. We're not going to be able to get a mortgage for quite a few years because we're on a debt management plan. And it's a lifestyle choice. And this weekend, tomorrow, we're going to go and see um, 
what looks on the internet to be a beautiful, beautiful converted church. Four bedrooms, massive mezzanine living room, open beams. It's 10 minutes, 15 minutes away from the sea. You can see the sea from the bedrooms and I know via the work that I do that I'll be able to keep working. You know, there might be some shit jobs. I might just have to go in and earn my money rather than get, make a dedicated difference for a while. So I decided to do this because of Steve, Steve Benway. He was one of the first people, or if you're watching this, Steve, you was one of the first sort of people that I met in a chat room. I didn't get my first PC. I mean, Steve sort of goes back years, but I didn't get my first PC until about 10 or 11 years ago when we moved into this house. So I'd, I'd never had one at home. And so, you know, you sort of fly around and you try this and you try that. And I tried um, the chat rooms and somehow I came across Steve's and there was Steve and Ariana and they're the two people that, that I'll always remember as being the first people I sort of met on the internet and I'm not a big chat room person I go in and I sort of chat with people and come back out but it, it's I'm not a dedicated person but I do like it I do like always going back and I always like going back to Steve's because Steve's welcoming with welcoming with with welcome him regardless I mean he made it quite a derb that I thought was quite a cool point when I was talking about my blog and I didn't, I didn't update it as much and I should do it every day or every other day or every whatever and he said I don't mind reading your blog because you only update when you've got something to say you know, so I'm not writing a blog for the sake of writing something down where you make opinions up like these people that have to I suppose do daily newspaper articles and sometimes they write something because they're contractually obliged to say something so I like that idea so hopefully that's what this is going to be it's going to be just sort of spouting me opinions and, and ranting maybe and and just getting into the whole scene of doing video logging and the reason why is because um, I've got a HD camera which I've had for a long well I've had for about a year but I lost for about six months under um, a car seat and gave up the idea of vlogging because the one thing I'd aspired for, or not aspired for, I'd wanted was the, the HD camera. I thought I'd lost. And I've got a new computer, which does video edit editing fantastic. And unfortunately, I, like some people, I suspect like Steve, who, no, unfortunately, I'm not like Steve in the sense that I think he sort of, I get the impression that he'll persevere if he wants to resolve something. And I'm lazy. If it's not easy, then I won't do it. So this software sort of makes it a hell of a lot easier to put something online. So I could put on sort of like effects of ripples. Or my favourite one is um, where everything sort of goes cubic. They're pointless. I mean, I don't think I'm going to need them. I don't, I've never felt a need for a cubic transition from one moment to the next. What will be happening in the next couple of weeks is I've got a dentist appointment in just in a month's time. I'm going to see a house tomorrow, which I'll film and hopefully put on YouTube. And just lots of changes in my life, massive changes. I'm going to Wales rather than living in England. That's after 37 years. Uh, it was only three months ago that I flew for the first time. Never been in a plane, never bothered me. Now I've got a phobia, just, just never got round to it and absolutely adored it. If you want to make a comment, I'm not going to be a dedicated replier. In fact, sometimes I may just get bored and go off YouTube for a month and then come back again. So don't don't expect dedicated replies, but, but should I get followers? And I've got no reason why I will get followers because my life is very domestic, which is exactly how I like it. So that's it. I'll probably speak to you all again soon. Bye.